time lapse for this painting of a little dreamer. I begin with a wet and wet wash in the background. I've got a size two round watercolor brush here and I'm just loosely painting in lots of bluish green tones. It's a mixture of a bunch of different pigments mainly ultramarine blue and some uh, green gold and lunar blue, a few others. And once that dries, then I begin doing secondary glazes. This is not quite as wet as that initial wash. It's a little bit more dry, more controlled, but still pretty pretty uh, wet on my brush and I also shifted to a smaller brush so that I could have better control over where exactly these glazes are going because I didn't want it to be quite so broad and more layers I keep glazing in these layers over and over in the sections to darken up areas while maintaining the highlights of the foreground. So you see I've left the flowers, I've left the tangled stems, and I've definitely left her bust. And then I loosely I take this wet brush, it's just water on it right now that you see, and I just kind of brush over everything and that helps to blend the bits of the, the layers that I've done so far and smooth things out. And I periodically will do that. I will do these glazes of darker tones and then I'll take a larger wet brush and just swipe it across everything. You have to be careful. Yeah, here, here we go again with more water swiping across things and also adding a faint base tone of buff titanium to her face and hair. And then with a number zero round, slowly begin to add the shading to her. And I'm keeping it in the same general tones as I've used in the background here. So I'm adding the shading to her face with blues and greens. And then in order to make her profile stand out more against the background, I darkened up the background area around her, the front of her face. So rather than outlining things, you work with contrast. So you have background darker and that will make the foreground pop further. You can have contrast either with the intensity of your color or even with the color tones. In this case, I was using the darkness. So I'm just pushing back with the blues and greens to make her profile stand out more. And then over here with the flowers, I'm adding contrast of color so because this is just such a complete, well, it is the, the complementary color of green, which is the overall tone I have of this greenish blue in the background. So I have these bright red flowers that really are going to stand out against that backdrop. This is just the initial light glaze of color. I'm using a smaller brush because this is a very small painting, <laughs> but essentially this is the same as the first step that you saw me do with the larger brush in the background, only now I'm applying it to the flowers. So I'm just doing a loose glazy, uh, a loose wash type of thing over everything. And then I let them dry before I add any shading to them. So while the flowers are drying, I move on to do other background elements, adding a little bit more depth into those tangle of vines and just, you know, waiting for the flowers to dry and then I can go back to, to do that. In a larger painting, it's easier to have other elements that you can shift back and forth in working on. But with something this small, I only have a very, tiny area and sometimes I do need to step away from the painting and let things sit and dry while I'm not messing with it and fiddling with layers and things because I just you just need to do that because otherwise the watercolor will bleed and and you'll have your colors blend together in unplanned ways. 
slowly working up the details of her hair and more shading on her face. Doing this very gradually with very, very light layers because I want her, the, the grading, the, the shadowing and gradation on her face to be very smooth. So you have to do that with light layers. You have to dilute your paint and slowly add those layers and, and see how it sits there before adding subsequent layers. So lots and lots of thin little glazes and I warmed up the tone of her face a little bit. You know, I started out with those blue green glazes on the shadows, but then I slowly added a little bit of a golden and red tone to things very in very, very dilute glazes, like I was saying, but just enough so that she doesn't look like she's made of ice, right? She's got some, some bit of warmth and glow to her features.